many times have we been to Fort Stanton? stop and see what's going on here it looks like blueberry vanilla oh no look at the back of that oh. looks like she made it <laughs> <laughs> what look at that look at that look who showed up okay. here at Fort Stanton can you believe this what are you doing Hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed you so much. So I'm at the fort, and this is one building I have yet to go into. And I think it might rain. But this was a community house. But what it was but this is information about the internment camp and if you watch my video yesterday that's what I wanted to come check this out and see if I can learn a little bit more about the internment camp the final voyage of the SS Columbus the SS Columbus set sail from New York City on August 19, 1939. This was the ship's fourth scheduled cruise of the year, and she left port with 1,331 passengers and crew on board. For the first week, everything remained normal. However, on August 27th, the captain received orders to immediately return to Germany or move to a neutral port. The reasoning for this order became clear when Germany invaded Poland. Four days later, igniting war with Britain and France. The Columbus offloaded her 745 bewildered vacationers in Havana on September 1st, 1939, and quickly sailed towards the neutral port at Veracruz. For four mo long months, the Columbus waited in Mexico while the German government worked on a diplomatic solution to the issue of their stranded civilian fleet. German merchant ships all over the world were in the same predicament as they were now subject to capture or destruction at the hands of Allied warships manning the Atlantic blockade or patrolling international shipping lanes, the ocean was no longer a safe place for the Columbus or her crew. While the Columbus was making a final dash towards the open oceans on December 19th, the Brit a British destroyer intercepted the Columbus just 300 miles east of the American coastline. The captain called the crew to the boats and gave the order to abandon the ship. All boats had been lowered and cleared except two. Crew members opened the sea valves in the engine room and when they cleared, the fire brigade set fires to prevent anyone from boarding. The captain was the last to leave the ship, satisfied that his beloved Columbus would not fall into the British hands. In honor of the sinking ship and her crew, the Columbus finally slipped below the waves at 12 10 a.m. on December 20th, 1939. There's a general information about the ship. Namesake Christopher Columbus. The owner was Lloyd in Germany. The builder. 
It was completed in 1922, and its maiden voyage was 1924. Class, Hindenburg, sister ships. Home port, Bremerhaven, Germany. Motto, Columbus ship, capacity 750 passengers. Following the rescue at sea, the crew of the SS Columbus were transported to New York City and held at Ellis Island. After nearly a month of negotiations, all parties agreed the remaining crewmen would be transferred back to Germany via Pacific Route. 513 men from the SS Columbus boarded trains bound for the West Coast Immigration Center at San Francisco Bay's Angel Island. For the next several months, numerous failed efforts were made to return the men to Germany. As the war played itself out on the global stages, global stage, anti-German sentiment grew in San Francisco and holding the Columbus crew member on Angel Island because a less viable option with every passing day. As a solution deteriorated both captain and the U the captain and the US government began exploring suitable and more permanent alternatives. So Blaine, here is an answer to your question. Originally, uh, there was no fence around the encampment, but after the war, things changed and the, uh, the most physical change at Fort Stanton was the addition of a new fence surrounding the camp. And the Border Patrol also constructed guard towers and began hiring civilian guards to assist. So there was a fence. This is an interesting find, an interesting note, talking about artifacts. It says, we found this item this summer by the old swimming pool and have had nothing but bad luck ever since. Maybe I'm just crazy for thinking that, but I'd rather just send it back to be done with it. Thanks. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Do not remove the artifacts. So it says that they're actively working to preserve the remaining builder buildings and structures of the internment. Um, you may see some of the materials remain of past activities of uh, surrounded or scattered across the ground. This area is still an active, monitored, and protective archaeological site, and the removal of artifacts from public land is not only ethically wrong, but it's also illegal. Please treat the site with respect and take nothing with you other than the memories and experiences. 